door. Oh God. Let's go to this guy first. Dude, we got the one, two, three combo. Sent troopers on the other side of that door. You need to find some way to thin their numbers. You could reprogram the damaged assault droid to help you if you have enough repair parts. Or you could use computer spikes to slice into the terminal and use the Endar Spire security systems against the Sith. Um, interesting. Okay. It's in this locker. Computer spike and parts. The defense goes down when you flurry, yeah. Look what the hut OP plays nerf. What's up, Stalin? What's up, Stefan? How you doing? Did chat just die? Is chat gonna die again, man? Computer use, computer spikes. Activate droids' shields. There we go. Nice. Don't shoot me, please. Get him, get him, get him. That guy's red. That's hilarious. Uh, let's throw another grenade at this guy. I'm hacking. Got him. Got him. I hacks. I hacks. I grenade through the wall. <laughs> All right, let's let's get a couple of save slots. Easy. And oh, a vibro blade. Another frag, nice. Kind of get this belt, but it's like the camera angle is awkward. Okay, let's check that new item we got. Five to fourteen damage. Damn. Let's get it. Let's get it. You've made it just in time. There's only one active escape pod left. Come on, we can hide out on the planet below. I'm a soldier with the Republic, like you. We're the last two crew members what left. What about Trash? Basil's escape pod's already gone, so there's no reason for us to stick around here and get shot by the Sith. Now, come on. There'll be time for questions later. Get to the escape pod, yeah. Get down, get to the escape pod. Get in, get in, yeah. Goodbye, droid. I miss you. This is the last escape pod and your only hope of survival. Let's go. Rip Trask. Trask sacrificed himself for us. Every start of every cutscene, waking up. Wow, what a cutscene that was. Oh, we're dreaming about a lightsaber. Good to see you up instead of thrashing about in your sleep. You must have been having one hell of a nightmare. I was wondering if you were ever going to wake up. I'm Karth, one of the Republic soldiers from the Endar Spire. I was with you in the escape pod. Do you remember? Um... I had a strange dream, like a vision or something. I'm not surprised. You took a serious blow to the head. 
You're probably having all kinds of strange dreams. I wouldn't worry too much about it. You've been slipping in and out of consciousness for a couple of days now, so I imagine you're pretty confused about things. Try not to worry. We're safe. At least for the moment. We're in an abandoned apartment on the planet of Terrace. We've been banged up pretty bad when our escape <laughs> that I wasn't seriously hurt. I was able to drag you away from our crash site in all the confusion, and I stumbled into this abandoned apartment. By the time the Sith arrived on the scene, we were long gone. The Sith? Terrace is under Sith control. Their fleet is orbiting the planet, they've declared martial law, and they've imposed a planet-wide quarantine. But I've been in worse spots. I saw on your service records that you understand a remarkable number of alien languages. That's pretty rare in a raw recruit. But it should come in handy while we're stranded on a foreign world. There is no way the Republic will be able to get anyone through the Sith blockade to help us. If we're gonna find Bastila and get off this planet, we can't rely on anybody but ourselves. Really, Ned? Also, so I know I'm cutting off like part of the subtitles. I do apologize for that. I'm like, try not to. <laughs> Why is it so important to find Bastila? That smack to your head did more damage than I thought. Bastila's a Jedi. She was with the strike team that killed Darth Revan, Malak's Sith Master. Bastila's the key to the whole Republic war effort. The Sith must have found out that she was on the Ender Spire and set an ambush for us in this system. I believe Bastila was on one of the escape pods that crashed down here in Terrace. For the sake of the Republic war effort, we have to try and find her. Uh... Any idea where we should start? While you were out, I did some scouting around. There are reports of a couple of skate pods crashing down into the Undercity. It's probably a good place to start. But the Undercity's a dangerous place. We don't want to go there unprepared, and it won't do Basil any good if we go and get ourselves killed. I want to ask you some questions. I'll tell you whatever I can, though I, I don't know how much help it'll be. What do you know about Malak and the Sith? Well, everything I know about Malak is pretty much common knowledge. He escaped the trap that killed Darth Revan, his Sith Master. With Revan's death, Malak became the new Dark Lord. It's obvious that Malak's a ruthless tyrant who'll crush anyone who stands in his way, just like Revan was. Experience has shown that the Sith won't stop until the Republic lies in ruins. Malak and his Sith don't respect anything except raw, brutal power. Dark it's hard side. to imagine how someone who used to be a Jedi could become such a monster. Because character can't control her eyebrows. <laughs> What's up, Derek? What's up, jokester? A Jedi? What do you mean? Malak and Revan were once both part of the Jedi Order, but they were young and headstrong. And against the wishes of the Council, they went to battle the Mandalorians on the Outer Rim. Something happened out there. Something corrupted them and drew them over to the dark side. Or maybe there was something rotten inside them all along. I don't know. They formed an army of ex-Republic soldiers and Jedi who'd fallen to the dark side, with Revan at their head, until Revan was killed by Basila's Jedi strike team. But even that didn't slow the Sith down. Malak just stepped in and assumed Revan's role. He took control of the Sith Armada and resumed the bloody conquest of the Outer Worlds. Sounds like Malak and the Sith have the right idea. How can you say that? The Sith are butchers. Soldiers, civilians, I mean, they don't care I who they kill. To. Even, I have even to, I have to. The dark right side's Right now, the away. Republic is the only thing keeping Malak's brutal fist from crushing the entire galaxy. And it won't be long until even the Republic falls to the Sith fleet. It's, a, it's seriously, ah, oh, I hate it. It's against my will. The sooner we start looking for Bastille, the sooner we'll find her. Good idea. We can use this abandoned apartment as a base. We can a probably base? get some equipment and supplies bases. here in the upper city. He's a Paul. He's keep pissed. A low He's like, what are you saying? There's some grim stories about the Dark Jedi interrogation techniques. They say the Force can do terrible things to a mind. It can wipe away your memories and destroy your very identity. But I figure if we don't do anything stupid, we should be okay. I mean, after all, they're, they're looking for Bastila, not a couple of grunts like us. All right, soldier. Let's move out. Uh, what do you mean, Brayden? I don't know what you mean. If the graphic is centered, the dark side is just winning. 
The lightsaber grows or shrinks depending on what you cheer for. And so the lights, the, there's just no lightsaber lit for the light side. Sad. <laughs> you will feel like such a jerk with the dark side choices. Ugh. Ugh. Look at you guys fighting in chat. This is an apartment. This is a mansion. Okay, maybe it's not a mansion. It's a, just one giant room. I guess it's a studio. Workbench. Throughout the game, you'll be able to find weapons and armor that are marked as upgradable. These items can be improved by the addition of an upgrade item. Interesting. With upgrade items, you can use this workbench to construct new, more powerful versions of upgradable ranged weapons, melee weapons, lightsabers, and armor. I can't upgrade anything right now. Not that I want to. I'll probably keep finding new stuff. All right. I really need to use the restroom. Give me one sec. Please don't murder each other with a lightsaber, guys. It's not a toy. Loco the Hut. Combat with the 500 light sides because the dark side does not pay their electric bill. <laughs> Combat, thank you for the 500 uh, light sides. Maybe the light side will take over. We'll see. We'll see. Loco the Hut. Remember, guys, uh, if you guys are in our Discord, you can also join the dark side or light side in our discord to get a special role and access to a secret channel where you can speak to your fellow uh light side or dark siders yes what's on your mind uh, i'd like to know some more about you jack with the 501 dark sides jack why dark side too strong me well i've been a star pilot for the republic for years seen more than my share of wars i fought in the mandalorian Phoenix wars with the 700 the light sides but there that, we go never experienced anything like the slaughter these sith animals can unleash not even the mandalorians were that senseless my home world was one of the first planets to fall to malik's fleet the sith bombed it into submission and there wasn't a damn thing our republic forces could do to stop them Talking like it's your fault, like you failed somehow. It shouldn't be my fault. I did everything I could. I followed my course oh, and did up, my Sid? duty. That shouldn't mean I failed them. I, I didn't. You mean the people of your home world? Yeah. No, I. That's not what I mean. I mean, I, I'm sorry. I'm not making much sense, am I? 
You probably mean well with your questions. I'm just not accustomed to talking about my past very much. At all, actually. Hashtag I'm light side, hashtag action. dark side, hashtag mod side. Really, Kimmy? So let's just do that. If you have more hey, questions, Dave. ask them later. Journal entry, nice. Yes, what's on your mind? This is how we get all of our lore, guys. You know anything about this place? Terrace? Well, the planet's all one big city, but its golden years are long past. And things have gotten worse since the Sith occupied it. From what I hear, the wealthy live on the tops of all the tall towers, and if you're poor, you live down in the shadows. And it gets worse the lower you go. Well, that's all I can think of, at any rate. I don't know what it does when it does. I think if you hashtag light side and hashtag dark side, I think it defaults to, to light side. If you include both, I'm just saying. You got it. All right, I think we've gotten everything out of him. Let's check for loot. Computer spikes and med packs, nice. All right, let's go. All right, Karth, come on. Right, you. No, I think scum. Ed chose Everybody that it weighs the towards the light side. This is a ray. That's how we Sith deal with smart mouth aliens. Now the rest of you, get up against the wall before I lose my temper again. What's this? Humans hiding out with aliens? They're Republic fugitives! Attack! Oh my god. I'm on hashtag light side nice. What's up, dorky? Thanks for the 30 months. How's it going? How you doing? Oh boy. Um. Okay. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Poor Ixkill. He should have never talked back to that Sith. Thankfully, you are here to step in and help us, human. This isn't the first time the Sith have come in here to cause trouble for us, but hopefully it will be the last. If I have anything to do with it. Won't someone come searching for this patrol? Don't worry about the bodies. I'll move them so it looks like they were killed elsewhere. They, that should throw the Sith off track. With any luck, they won't be bothering us again for a while. Uh, wait, what do you mean, Braided? If it weighs towards light side, that's cheating? A dark side trait. Wait, what? What's up, Marcus? What's in my backpack? Ooh, oh, a poison grenade. Okay. Couldn't move there for a second. Huh. Hello. Well, I don't see too many of your kind around here. Most of the residents in this rundown old apartment are illegal aliens. My name is Laram, by the way. Richard with the hundred light side bits. Thank you, Richard. Thank you very much. Where in Discord is the light side, dark side option? Uh, general chat fire, and then you do exclamation point join dark or exclamation point join light in the uh, general chat. The instructions are in the announcement uh, section. Hey, Rap Weasel, how you doing? How's it going? Um, well, I guess if we have a good choice and a bad choice, I'm sorry, but. I don't care what your name is, and I'm not telling you mine. 
Look, I know we're trying to keep a low profile, but this kind of attitude will draw attention we don't need. Hey, I wasn't trying to pry or anything. I know people here like their privacy. It's just that I might be able to help you out. I know it's really none of my business, but you look like someone who might need to purchase one of those new energy shields. They're the latest thing, you know, very high tech. What's so great about these energy shields? When you use one, it surrounds you with a radiant aura particle mesh that absorbs blaster bolts. Pretty handy in a fight. The shield even protects against lightsabers, or so I hear. The shields aren't perfect, of course. They can only absorb so much energy damage before they burn out. And ion blasters will take your basic dueling shield down pretty quick. Gallus? And I can tell you from experience that they aren't any good at all against a simple vibroblade. That's why the Republic has been training soldiers in hand to hand and melee combat. Where did this technology come from? I've heard rumors of the Chani using shields like this, but I never saw anything like them around here, not until the Sith came, where they discovered the technology is anybody's guess. The shields are too rare and too expensive to hand out to an entire army, but a shielded strike team can take out the whole battalion of soldiers armed with conventional blasters. It gave the Sith a huge edge in the early battles, but it wasn't long before the Republic was able to copy the tech and come up with energy shields of their own. Now both sides are scrambling to come up with the new weapons to slice right through the shields. And until they do, you're going to see melee combat coming back to the forefront in this war. Anything else? Not much more to say, really, except that I've managed to get my hands on one of those shields. It isn't cheap, but it could mean the difference between life and death. I can do some really horrible stuff later on, oh god. You want to see what I have in stock? I know my kiosk is much to look at, but my price is reasonable and the merchandise is sound. You to tell me about illegal aliens living here. By law, most aliens aren't allowed to have a residence in the upper city of Terrace. They allow a few of us, uh, Twi'leks up here, but for the most part, it's humans only. But no self-respecting upper city human would want to live in the apartments in this dump, so the landlord has been renting out the apartments illegally to aliens. Better than letting them sit empty, I guess. Otherwise, you get squatters and people hiding out from the authorities living in the abandoned apartments and they don't pay rent. There's my chapstick. Are you worried about getting caught? The terrorist authorities pretty much turn a blind eye to this place. A few illegal aliens just weren't worth the bother. And once the Sith took over, they felt the same way. What up, Hayden? Besides, I don't live here myself. I just run a small business providing supplies to the residents. You want to see what I have in stock? Yeah. Uh, no, not Jack. What? All right, so I have 63 credits, a military suit. Can't afford it. 
Um, where's this shield he's talking about? This energy shield? Can't afford it. Can I sell things? Uh, these aren't worth anything. <laughs> Blaster pistol. Okay, so let's sell the short sword. I think I ha now have to buy this game. <laughs> it's pretty cool so far. Blaster pistol. Um, I mean, I don't know. I kind of want to keep one, but... I had to sell these two. Blaster rifle. Hey, Ninja. How you doing? Is this the online version? No, this isn't Swartor. No, this is the uh, single player RPG. Item is worth more than 100 credits. Do so you still wish to sell? Yeah, why would I want? Why would I not want to sell this? That's that's exactly why I want to sell it. It's worth a lot. Vibration cell. Cell like this can stabilize a melee weapon, allowing it to hit and damage better. Oh, mm, interesting. It's to prevent accidental selling. Oh, okay. Just got back at the Sword Sword new expansion in September. Really? That's awesome. I played Sword Tour back in the day. Uh, Sir Donnie and Kadera win. Thank you guys for the host. I appreciate it. Uh, so now I can afford the energy shield. But it it's only one use. Is this worth... Is the energy shield worth getting? There's some stealth stuff, but we're not going stealth, really. Mines. Don't buy it. It has five uses. Oh, it does have five uses. Don't buy it. You'll find more. So you think I should wait? Whoever owns Apple devices are part of dark side and should be eliminated. You're going to lose so many. You'll be sick of them. <laughs> all right. All right. Wait about this vibros. Oh, we'll probably find more more weapons. We're like so early. We're gonna easily find better weapons. Be boo boo bop. Be boo boo bop. Thorian. And I know the Taurusian tar attitudes towards aliens that would never come to visit this world. Now I'm stuck here because of the quarantine. Hmm. What's this? Someone's home. I hate this world. They treat us aliens like scum. As soon as the Sith quarantine is over, I'm leaving. Low security door. Hey there. What? 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 We are walking. I just clean those floors. What's up, Georgie? What's up, Abam? It's going well. How's your day? Who are you? My name's Kadir. I'm the janitor for this building. You must be the new tenant here, right? Eh? Never thought they'd rent that abandoned apartment. Hmm. You look like an off-worlder. I'm dirty up the floor. You get stuck here because of the quarantine. Can't see any other reason someone would want to rent that old apartment. I want to ask you some questions. I don't know how much I can tell you, but seeing as how you're new here, I guess. Back in my day. Out. Tell me about Terrace. Decent enough place to live, I guess, except for the lower levels. That's where the swoop gangs hang out. Just stay in Upper City and you'll be fine. You also might want to check out the cantina. Yeah. I used to go there when I was younger. Good place to get a drink and find out what's going on in Upper City. Hey, Wolfpack, how you doing? Working and lurking, I got it. Just keep following the apartment complex ring until you come to the elevator. 
It'll take you out to the upper streets there, and, and from there, just head south away. Okay. You can't miss it. Thank you. 